Gladiators Shadow Star Michael Jefferson King Jailed Over Blackmail Plot Michael Jefferson King, better known as Shadow from the 90s television show Gladiators, has been jailed for his part in a blackmail plot. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press bell icon for more complete information and more trending news. Gladiators star Michael Jefferson King was jailed for his part in a blackmail plot where he threatened to kneecap a drug user if he did not pay a £1,000 debt. Shadow was one of the most popular stars of the hit ITV series but was axed from the show in 1995 after being caught snorting cocaine and testing positive for steroids. The 60-year-old threatened to take a hammer to a man's legs after he tried to escape from a terrifying ordeal in which he was hit with a metal pole and gagged. King was said to be addicted to heroin and crack cocaine at the time, and lived in a flat in Acton, West London that was a safe haven for people to take drugs in. He admitted two counts of blackmail and was jailed for six years and three months today. Simon Batson, 39, also admitted two counts of blackmail and Donna Harman, 41, Oshis Noel, 45, were convicted after trial of false imprisonment and two counts of blackmail. A sentencing hearing at Isleworth Crown Court heard Darren Alley, 40, was held by the group at a flat in Acton, West London, in March last year. Judge Fiona Barry said, Mr. Ali attended the home of Mr. Batson and Ms. Harman to share drugs and all four of the defendants were present at the address eventually. He said initially everything was fine, but when the drugs ran out the atmosphere changed. He was told to borrow money from his wife to buy more drugs but he refused. Then he said the mood became ugly. Within a very short space of time a plan was hatched to extort money from Mr. Ali and his family. He described during the trial how he was subjected to a sustained and brutal attack which continued over several hours from approximately midday to 9 p.m. that evening. The judge said persistent and relentless threats were made to Mr. Ali's wife and brother to pay up to £1,000 for his safe return. Members of the group attacked Mr. Ali throughout the day including hitting his knuckles with a metal pole, beating him with a wooden stick and kicking and punching him. A plastic bag was put on his head while he was beaten and a sock and exercise band were used as a gag to stifle his screams, the judge said. Both heard him being threatened as he pleaded for help in the background and videos were sent showing the torture. Prosecutor Keith Hadrill said King also threatened to cut off the man's ears and fingers. Mr. Hadrill said, when Mr. Ali attempted to escape he was brought down by the three defendants and Mr. King was instructing them to get a hammer so they could break his legs so he could not escape. His family eventually agreed to pay the money and Mr. Ali was released, it was said. Judge Barry said, a neighbor described hearing a bad scream like something from a Hollywood movie. The demand videos to his wife and brother were brutal. They were violent and they were distressing. The sending of the videos can only have been done to cause psychological harm to the recipients. Mr. Ali said he thought he was going to die. He said he has flashbacks, troubling sleeping, and trust issues as some of those involved he considered to be his friends. He remains mentally scarred by what happened to him and treated as less than a human. His wife said the demand videos are something she can never forget. She also says she can never forget the events of that day and she has been left feeling anxious, sometimes depressed, and haunted by the videos that give her sleepless nights. Stella Harris, defending, King's previous convictions were mostly for theft to support his addiction to class of drugs, which began when the Londoner was living in the Bronx in New York during the 80s. Ms. Harris said. He became an athlete and had some success playing American football in college and had trials at that time. Unfortunately at that moment in that part of the country there was an epidemic of crack cocaine use and that's something he encountered as a teenager and that has led very regrettably to a lifelong dependence on drugs. He came back to this country, he was then a professional bodybuilder all the while still having these issues, periods of abstinence, periods of success. When things went wrong, he would turn to drugs. The court heard King has 20 convictions for 39 offences. It was said King's mother recently died aged 93, 
which has been an additional punishment and he decided not to attend her funeral because of the shame of seeing his wider family. Judge Barry told King, it was Mr. Ali's evidence all three males played a role in attacking him and preventing him from leaving. I take into account your acceptance of responsibility and the role you played in this offending. I take into account your entrenched drug addiction from your teenage years. Batson, of Burlington Gardens, Acton, was jailed for six years and nine months for two counts of blackmail. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more trending news.